Okay, guys, this was Ferb. Uh, he guards our, our fertilizer and watches our plants for us while we're not on center. And he doesn't really talk in front of large crowds very well, but he just wanted to say make sure that you sub to my channel uh, for more content because he thinks that we're going to get daily uploads to keep coming out pretty consistently for at least another week, maybe more, depending on how long the base stays up. Alright, it is now episode 3, and you guys have not seen the base yet, because the base has basically been a pretty big work in progress uh, for the last 3 or 4 days. I don't know, it's been, it's been up since the end of episode 1 when we finished the boss fight, but uh, over the course of the last couple of days we've actually like built it and filled it out. So, here's a little base tour of what we got going on. So we got the tech gen, uh, Indie Forge, we could only fit one if, in case we wanted, unless we wanted to sack a bunch of space. So what we're going to do is we're probably going to extend out our Genesis post and just make it big enough to have like five forges there. Uh, but nice to have a little forge here. Some internals. Cryo fridges, they're pretty bare right now. We don't really have uh, many tames. Uh, weapons. Uh, our shitty flak vault. Saddles, turrets that we're gonna put on the post, just structures, tech stuff, random shit. We've got our our little war room. I don't know. It's like war room adjacent kind of. We haven't filled all the deadies out, but uh, you get the idea. Usually people have like a transmitter and then a ring around the top of the transmitter, but since it's in the corner, we figured we just fill it out like this. Uh, two people can fit in here, which is kind of cool. Got beds for literally everything. You can spawn in wherever the hell you want. And then jump pad. Our little crafting station, kind of. We're gonna, we gotta put a rep somewhere. We're not really sure where yet. We might just uh, expand the base a little bit. Maybe another 10 vacuum cubes or so. We got our little chem bench area uh, where we're gonna start pumping out gunpowder. Uh, Smithy Fabbies, beds. This is our little our resource daddy wall. And we also need to make a tech structure daddy wall, but we have not decided where yet. Like I said, it's a, it's a pretty big work in progress. And then this is where we're going to do all our breeding. Uh, we had already done some, but some of the stalkers died because we were not uh, attentive enough. So we will, we will get better at that. And then you guys have already met Ferb. Uh, he's not that talkative today. And our crops. And yeah, stalkers that are ready to breed. So that's the base. Well, this is what we're working out of. We're doing most of our work on Genesis though. So that's where like most of our farming goes and we just uh, store our shit here and operate mostly out of Genesis until the day that it gets wiped, which uh, should be eventually. I mean, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, that's this is the base. This is your little base store of what we got going on. I just woke up. Swank's clearly been tossing out Bloodstalkers all night, because holy shit, there's so many in here. But we got three more. Uh, 
Grab a whip, maybe I can fucking whip him. I don't think this is gonna work. Oh fuck, maybe it will. Boys, we're going over to fucking add the team of crab. Got all the shit, metal, trap. Got a basilisk that swamp teamed. We'll go get that shit set up. Yo, yo, what? You were in the trap! Holy shit. Fuck me. Oh, yes. Oh, fucking hell yeah, four, four shots and it's out. That was clean as fuck. So yeah, it was a big day. Got a lot of shit done. There was a lot of stuff I didn't show you guys. Uh, it may be sprinkled in the next video. Uh, we started cloning crabs and 
doing all sorts of other shit. But we finally got our first uh, one of those lines that Swank got from knocking a guy out on rag uh, to breeding. So we are finally going to have Bloodstalkers hopefully in the next episode or maybe the episode after because it is an event right now. And then we can start getting some real PvP because these Bloodstalkers are good. And I can do things like uh, counter metal runs and missions and catch people when they're, you know, lacking. So uh, thank you guys for watching and be sure to like and sub and, you know, make sure you listen to Ferb and have a good day.